Hey everyone, this is Jordan from Kaizen and today we're going to be talking about how to set up an A0 poster in PowerPoint. Okay, so let's jump straight into PowerPoint. You can see that when you open a new document, it's always going to be in that default size for screen that PowerPoint has. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to themes and slide size to change it to be more appropriate for our A0 size. A good uh, utility that I always have at hand is this website papersizes.org uh, which has all of the paper sizes that you'll usually be dealing with, uh, all of the units of measurement that you'll ever need. Uh, so all you need to do is go in and copy and paste into the dialog boxes to get the right size. And this just saves any headaches down the road uh, with size or kind of pixelation when you go to export your file at the end. So we hit OK and we're getting a little dialog box that is saying that the paper size won't be able to be printed by the printer that we have attached to our computer. But as you're going to be sending them to Kaizen for printing anyway, this isn't a problem. So you just hit OK to get rid of that. And this is our page all set up. You can see the PowerPoint is suggesting some text sizes for us, and that is always good. Uh, they're always a good rule of thumb to stick to because if somebody is a bit short-sighted or they're a bit further away from your presentation than you would ideally like, they'll still be able to see the titles and then you can talk about all the content that you have that they might not be able to see. Okay, I'm just gonna go into a poster that I had set up before to talk about some other issues that you might come across. Um, as you can see here, this would be ideally the size that you would have for a title, um, but you can see when you get down to the middle and even the lower sort of end that you begin to lose kind of clarity in what is uh, going on there so that if you were given a presentation, the people further away wouldn't be able to read this um, and that's an opportunity for you to then talk around that. Uh, one thing that we would say is that we wouldn't want anything too close to the edge. If it's like this here, it's gonna get chopped off because we trim everything by hand to ensure that everything is kept uh, on the artboard. So you're gonna to want to just bring everything over and in with a nice bit of space there at the sides. So once you're happy with your design and there are no issues with uh, text being off the side or text being too small for people to read, you just need to export it as PDF. All you need to do is go to File and Save As. And you can see down in the dialog box here that it gives you an option as PDF. And you just name your poster and save it to wherever it is on the computer that you want. In my case, it is the desktop. And then we can go into Finder and see the finished file that is ready for print. So all you need to do now is get this file to us somehow, uh, whether it be services like Dropbox or WeTransfer. You can send it in an email if it's small enough or you can even drop it in yourself on a pen drive. It's totally up to you. And that is how to set up posters in PowerPoint.